Okay, so let's do another one. <clears throat> so, we've seen this setup before. We know that the weight of the eggs produced by a certain species of chicken is normally distributed with a mean of 65 grams and a standard deviation of 5 grams. Calculate the probability that a randomly selected egg weighs between 61 grams and 69 grams. That's no problem. That is something you have absolutely done, right? Okay, so a randomly selected egg. The mean is 65. We want to be between 61 and 69. So we're looking for this area. So we're just going to say normal CDF, lower bound, upper bound, mean, standard deviation. We know that our lower bound is 61, right? Our upper bound is 69. Our mean is 65. Our standard deviation is 5. We go to our calculator and we plug that in. So we say second VARS, normal CDF, sorry, 61, 69, 65, 5, and we get that the area is 0.576. So this 0.576, so the probability of a randomly selected egg being between 61 grams and 69 grams is 0 0.576. No problem. So let's look at the next one. Calculate the probability that the mean weight of the farmer's 10 eggs fall between 61 and 69 grams. Okay, so now we have a different problem. And the key thing to notice here is that now we have a sample size. So when you have a sample size, you basically always need to use it. That's kind of like the rule of thumb. So you've given a sample size, and now you're asked about the probability of the mean. So now we're dealing with the sampling distribution. So we know that the mean should be approximately normally distributed, right? And we know it's normally distributed because we checked our RIN before. We said it's random, they're independent, and we said it's normal even though the sample size is small because the population is normally distributed. We know that the mean of the sampling distribution is just equal to the mean, which is 65, and the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the sample mean, so we always say the mean of the sampling distribution of the sample mean, and the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the sample mean is sigma, which is 5, over the square root of n, which is 10. So all we have to do is recalculate the standard deviation, which I think we already did, but we'll do it again, which is 1.58. And we're just going to recalculate this, but now, right, it's still between 61 and 69 grams, but now our standard deviation has changed, and now it's 1.58. So it's going to be normal CDF, 61, because that's my lower bound, comma, 69, that's my upper bound, comma, 65, that's my mean, but now my standard deviation is 1.58. So now the area is 0.989. So hopefully that makes sense, that it's going to be almost exactly the same, except now we're dealing with a sampling distribution, because we're asked about the probability of a mean, and we were given the sample size, so we're going to take that sample size into account, and all it's really doing is changing the standard deviation. So we're going to recalculate the standard deviation, and then we're going to find the new probability. So in this case, it was the same range, so I was just able to plug it in. Great, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, thank you for visiting me at educator.com, and I hope to see you for the next lesson.